Hello there guys. Today I'm going to make a tutorial on making a breathing animation for your characters. I do this with a, a lot of my characters just because I like the realism it adds, but obviously it's not something you see every day in VR chat. So to start, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to make something called a, a shape key, also known as a blend shape when you're in Unity. So to do so, you need to click on the body mesh and uh, down in this panel, you'll notice that there is a the, uh, little triangle with the dots. If you click on that, it'll give you a, the list of your shape keys, your vertex groups, etc. Now, your vertex groups are going to come in handy here because these are the same things that are connected to the bones. And this will enable you to do something such as find the chest vertex group, for example. If you hit tab, you'll enter edit mode. And if you hit select, it'll select everything that's connected to the chest bone. Now, obviously, there's a couple things not selected here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, the button down here, which basically what it does is it lets you see all the vertices through the entire model. And then so I can select everything easily. I'll hit C and then I'll select all these vertices here to get the ones I'm missing. Now, um, obviously, if you're breathing, your neck and your shoulders are not going to be part of that. So to fix that real quick, the best way I've noticed is to find the shoulders and the neck in here and you hit deselect. So it'll des deselect anything that's connected to the neck and then the same with the shoulders. So let me find that here. Deselect the left and then And deselect the right. Now there's still a couple more things here you got to unselect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter, hit C again to enter this mode. But if, instead, if you click in the middle mouse button, it'll deselect the things you hover over. So I'm just going to go through here real quick and de deselect everything that I don't need. Now to enter the aerial mode, if you hit seven on your numpad, you'll enter an aerial mode like this and then if you hit the center of your numpad 5 it'll kind of um, give you a flat view so that this will really help with deselecting so I'm just gonna deselect everything that's connected to the back as well as a little bit down here because that's not necessary okay all right and then once you're happy with uh, having basically this amount of the body selected what you can do is hit tab to exit, but uh, make sure everything was still selected. What I like to do is I like to, just so I don't lose them, I like to make a new vertex group. So I'll hit the plus sign here and I'll label it breathing. Then I'll hit tab again and then I'll hit assign. So that'll assign all those vertices to the breathing. That way, even if I unselect them, I can just hit it again and boom, I have them back. Now I notice there's two vertices here that are going to need selected so let me just uh, grab those and hit sign again all right so the next part is making the shape key so to do that you go down to the shape keys here you hit the tab so you can enter in here and this will enable you to make a new shape key so I'll name this one breathing then while it's selected you enter back into edit mode and everything you edit here will add to that shape key and not the base model so to enlarge this i'm going to hit the s key to enter the resize now you'll notice here that it's it's kind of it's not it's only stretching like that and that's not what we want so what we want to do is enter something called proportional editing mode by clicking this dot down here if you hit connected at the top what this will do is now when I hit S, you'll notice that it's expanding everything proportionally based on the selection. So if you also in, uh, use the mouse wheel up and down, you'll increase the strength of it's affecting the surroundings. Now, another side effect, unfortunately, as you, you're probably noticing is the these vertices here are not connected to these vertices. So the way I'm going to fix that is doing something called remove doubles.
Okay, so to remove doubles, um, at least in that area, is, it, it's most important. So I'm going to enter that mode from before, where you can see everything inside. Then go to the aerial view, go to the side, and just basically I'm going to pick everything in this vicinity. In fact, I'm just going to pick everything down here. Now, you don't always want to remove doubles on everything because you'll get, like on the hair, for example, the hair is double layered and double sided on this model. So what would end up happening is it would it would make that a single layer and completely mess up the faces. Uh, that's not as important on anime models because of the back facing, but on a like a more humanoid model, you kind of need both sides uh, so you can have uh, proper hair shaders instead of having the back side of something not lit properly, um, which you can get away with on an anime uh, avatar. All right, so now that I've selected all the vertices that I think I'm going to remove doubles on for now. So I'm going to hit the W key. It'll bring up this menu, and that'll give me an option to hit remove doubles. So you'll notice at the very top after I hit that, it removed 1,893 vertices. So the model obviously still looks exactly the same. So what that did is everywhere there's an overlap of a vertice, instead of there being a seam or a crack, it is now merged together. So that now when you see me select the breathing and uh, using proportional editing now i increase its size you'll notice that all those vertices are now f st sticking together instead of having a crack so now i'm going to slightly increase the size of the chest actually you know what because of, of the nature of animation i'm going to over exaggerate the breathing animation a good bit so i'm going to pull out the vertices a good bit i'm going to expand there we go so that is what I'm, I have so far. So to test it, when you exit edit mode, you can actually increase the value down here. So you notice as I increase the slider, she can, you can uh, give the illusion that she's breathing. And so what I'm gonna end up doing is in Unity, I'll make a, an animation that'll loop like this, and it'll give her the appearance of breathing. All right, now that you've added your blend shape, and you're happy with the shape key as well, what you're gonna do is you wanna export that as an FBX or save it over the top of the FBX that's in your other uh, file uh, or your Unity. Uh, for me, I already have it imported as a Unity project, so I'm just going to save over the file inside my Unity project and that will allow me to open up my Unity. I'll give it a second here open up my unity and you'll notice it's thinking because it's refreshing this model and now you should notice that when you click on your character you'll notice the blend shape tab now has breathing so for for here I can just increase this and of course it's like I said it's over exaggerated that way I could um well there, for a couple reasons one is because when it comes to VR chat or a game in general uh, if, if it's um just slight like a normal breathing animation you won't notice it as much it's similar with other physics you've seen like ears uh and thighs etc that if you have it re uh, realistically jiggle it's hardly noticeable uh but if you have it like so you have to kind of exaggerate it a good bit to make it more noticeable um and that's just the nature of uh animation in general uh you'll notice mickey mouse has giant hands because uh Disney wanted his hands to be more noticeable, for example. Now, let's see. So what we got to do now is to create this animation, I'm going to duplicate the model, hide the original model, and then go to the animation tab and create an animation. I'm going to call this animation breathing. It seems pretty straightforward. Now that I've created my breathing animation, I'm going to enter record mode by hitting the red dot you'll notice your character drops below the floor that's okay because the only thing that's really going to run as an animation on the character is the breathing that you're about to add so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to have my first keyframe selected here i'm going to raise breathing up to one or two it doesn't really matter because i'm going to put it back to zero then hit enter what that did is i created a, 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 a keyframe here that i can now hit i believe it's control c on uh, unity and then I can paste that in here by hitting control V. So now I have a minute long animation of nothing happening. So I'm gonna click on the 30 second mark right in the center, paste another keyframe, 
but this time I'm going to raise the blend shape to about, let's say, 70 of 70 percent. So that way, if I hit this blend, uh, this uh, animation, so now she's breathing extremely rapidly and her chest is expanding in a ridiculous amount. So to fix that, I'm going to find a good sweet spot. I'm going to try 50. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to scroll through here and I'm going to move this animation to be three seconds long and uh, put the breath in the center. You'll notice it's getting a lot more closer to what you'd think breathing would look like. Now, you could sit here and, you know, you could keyframe in a ton of different breathing speeds and all that stuff if you're if you wanted to get really crazy about it. But what I tend to do is I usually go for about uh, four seconds to maybe even f uh, five seconds long. And then I put the breath in the center of that. And then it, it'll give a good breath speed. So let's see. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe I could lower it a bit, but people tend to not notice the breathing. But when they do, they do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down to 45. And I think I'm g happy with that for now. You can also throw in other animations in this uh, so that over time it's just always doing something. Like you can make it smile randomly during this and you can do things like have it randomly wink. So your character would just have an actual idle animation, uh, not just breathing. So you can – this has a, a lot of use. So I'm going to exit uh, record mode and uh, then I'm going to attach this to my character. All right, to attach this to my character, I'm going to hide the uh, old one, and then we're going uh, to reshow the original. Now, I, this is where I saved my animation from before called Breathing. So to make it work on your character at all times, you have to actually go to this tiny little drop down in the top right near the uh, lock and above the gear. You click on that and enter something called Debug Mode. What this does is it lets you edit components in a much more detailed way. So for this one, I have to use something called a legacy animation. Uh, which So what you do is you'll check legacy and then go down the wrap mode and click on loop. Um, ping pong would work as well in this case just because it'll ping pong back and forth between um, the beginning and the end. But we're just going to go with loop so it loops around. Now I'm going to go back to normal mode. So now you'll notice the animation now only gives you one option, wrap mode. And I, that's where I'm going to have loop still selected. Now you'll notice the length of the animation is about four seconds and it's 60 FPS long. So to, to attach it to the character is the next part. So what I'm going to do is go all the way down here, click on add component, and then look for the word animation, not animator. Now animation, this lets you run legacy animations on your character. And it'll continually loop at all times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add breathing to it like that. And uh, for me, I'm going to have it as always uh, animate and in animate physics as well, just in case it causes any conflict with the, um, the new physics that I came up with recently. So now if I enter play mode here and then zoom in on my character, you'll notice that she's breathing. So now I'm going to import that into the game and show you what that looks like. Now that we're in game and uh, are at the mirror here, you'll notice if you look really closely, there is a subtle breathing happening. And that's about it. However, you'll notice that earlier I did something called remove doubles. And I did it quick, quickly and slop, uh, in a sloppy manner. So you'll notice that the cloth that is supposed to be um, draped over the top here... Uh, is kind of backwards. So underneath is where the actual texture is showing. So I have to make the cloth texture here double-sided now. But that's uh, that's something you can prevent by uh, selecting everything and removing doubles uh, in a more careful manner. Um, but you don't have to do that in all models. So not all models come with uh, doubles needing removed at all. Now, for my next tutorial, I'll probably release an animation that simulates a wind or something else if anyone has any suggestions, so feel free to comment below.